let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. Going into the season, you know, you, you knew that Appalachian State was going to be a good team once again this year. And uh, at the beginning of the season, every team's goal and dream is to make it to the playoffs. Um, so we figured, you know, if you want to win another national championship, you always have to go through the best teams. And they're one of the best teams in the nation. So, um, you know, I kind of think everyone in the back of your mind said, you know, you're going to have to face uh, that great team again if you want to make it back to the uh, national championship. Thank you. Talk about what kind of challenge their quarterback <clears throat> Poses. I mean, Armani Edwards, um, no surprise to anyone, is one of the best players, I think, in FCS history. And um, what makes him so dynamic is that he can beat you both on the ground with his feet and in the air with his passing ability. Um, he, he does great um, with the run game. You know, he, he makes a lot of good plays on his feet and he avoids people in the pocket. Um, but what I think a lot of people underestimate him is his ability to throw the ball. And um, just watching him on, on film and playing him uh, the past two years, he's a great passing quarterback. He finds open receivers, he moves around in the pocket, he makes things happen. And um, that's the biggest thing with defending him is you can't just shut down the run and then say that you know he won't beat you with the pass because he will. So uh, to take away those two aspects is very hard to do, which makes him a, a very talented quarterback. May I follow up by asking, in retrospect, uh, obviously his rushing numbers from 2007 against Richmond were dramatically different than 2008. And in retrospect, do you see physical problems that caused that difference or Richmond defended him really well, and you had a really good game. Um, I'm not really sure about the physical aspects. I don't really know what was going on with that. But I feel like I think last year we were a little bit more prepared. Um, you know, the previous year was the first time we had ever been in the semifinals. I think going into that game, I want to say that our team might have been a little, you know, the confidence level probably wasn't there the way it should have been. And I think last year, I think one of the main differences was our confidence level going into that game. We felt like we belonged. Um, so I'm not going to say that it was anything to do with the physical ability of him because he's a, he's a great player. I just think that last year the mindset was there, and uh, that's something that we need to carry into this game this year as well. Patrick, I don't think you can count on seven turnovers from them again this year. It's probably something they might focus on. But if you're not getting that, now what do you have to work on yourselves in order to get the same result that you all had last year? Well, I think the biggest thing, when, when playing a team like Appalachian State, they, they have a lot of firepower with their offense. Uh, they're capable of making big plays on every single down. And uh, the biggest thing for a defense is to not make mistakes. So I think going into the game, obviously, we want to force as many turnovers, make as many big plays as we can. But if we're assignment sound and do what we need to do, I think that'll help us take away what they're trying to do with their offense. Um, so I think we need to make sure that we game plan effectively for, effectively for them. We also need to make sure that we have our assignments very sound and we're very technique oriented this week in the game. Justin, when you were being recruited, um, was Appalachian State even in the picture? And whether they were or they weren't, what were your uh, impressions of that program when you were in high school? Because obviously you were probably looking at the, the best one AA programs in the country. and. Does Richmond now meet that standard or impression that you had of App State before you committed? <clears throat> well, to be honest with you, um, I didn't really even start playing football. I didn't start until um, my senior year in high school. So, uh, uh, I mean, I was as far as going into college programs, I was just happy to get into play, being able to play college football. I, I wasn't going to be picky about which program was going to accept me. So, I mean. If they would have offered me, I met, I can't say that I wouldn't have gone there. I would have gone anywhere pretty much. I was just ecstatic to be able to have the opportunity to play it. Uh, but, uh, you know, it turned out I made a real good decision by coming here at uh, Richmond, and I'm real proud of that, uh, real glad that I made that decision. Uh, Appalachian State is a good program. I learned more about them now that I'm here at the University of Richmond. I know more about their history and uh, how good they are, you know. But uh, I'm glad that when I came here, you know, things have changed and we've become, I would say, you know, a lot of people could argue that we've become, I mean, as good as their program right now. So, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad with my decision where this program is at. And I mean, I like going against a, a team like uh, Appalachian State because they're very competitive. And uh, whoever wins that, you know, has a lot of bragging rights. Patrick said that you guys felt in this game last year that you belonged at this at this level playing 
for what you're playing for. I can imagine after winning last year, you feel that even more, and because you're playing at home, you feel that even more. Is the level of confidence even higher than it might have been at this point last year? I mean, uh, Coach London has always instilled in us, you know, the, the attitude of being a confidence team, of knowing that we're going to win a game, you know. So uh, we're not ever, at, we don't ever go into a game thinking that we're going to lose it. You know, we always got to be able to know know that we can win. It's just a matter of doing what it takes to win the game, you know, being a tech, technical sound and everything like that, knowing what, what our jobs are to do and uh, being able to do it. So I would say going into this game, you know, it's more so uh, – being whoever can execute the best, you know, uh, being on top of our game, you know, and whoever does that the best is uh, more likely going to win the game. Now, Justin, I know you didn't play in the game last year, but considering the fact that, this, that these guys beat App State and, and the way it went down, from the mind of a player, what do you think the motivation is on their side or what do you think the mindset is on their side as they're coming here and here we are, another quarterfinal game between Richard and App State? Uh, well, yeah, I didn't play in the last time we played App State, but I did play in it two years ago when they did, you know, when they beat us pretty bad like then. And I know that the, uh, that off season, you know, all, they, all we were talking about was, you know, redeeming ourselves from when we lost to App State. So uh, I know that, you know, they pretty much faced the same type of loss that they uh, that we did to them. So, I mean, I know what their off season program was like. You know, I've seen their highlight tape. You know, they've all, we're getting back there. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot of motivation on their part like it was on our part. So uh, it's going to be a pretty emotional battle out there, I think. I guess, Patrick, you can kind of answer the uh, the same question, maybe to add on. How does that lend itself to the preparation that's going on here? I mean, obviously, are you getting yourselves a little more amped up or, or putting things a little more in the high gear now as the playoffs, but you're playing a team that, that really probably wants to come in and get a piece here? Yeah, I mean, as Coach Lundin had touched on before, uh, in the playoffs, you only get you know, so many opportunities. If you lose, you're done. So uh, the attitude during the week is, you know, you have to be at your best. You have to play at your best in order to get another game. And I think uh, that's probably the mindset for both teams. Um, I mean, last year, Appalachian State's season th did end with us. So I'm sure that they probably are looking for a little bit of revenge. Um, but going into this week, what we need to focus on is that Appalachian State is a great team. We can't think about what happened last year. This is this year. and We have to do what we need to do this year in order to uh, beat their football team. And uh, again, that means playing at our best of our ability because they are one of the premier teams in uh, FCS football. Can you guys both address whether there's any difference this year as the defending national champions? You know, you expected to be here. You expect, you know, you went through the regular season. This was your goal. Last week was the beginning of that. Can you just talk about any differences between last year and this year? Well, I think um, one of the biggest things last year. Um, it, it was Coach London's first year, and still uh, he was trying to instill a lot of attitudes, a lot of different changes in our program where he was trying to build the foundation for our program. And I think after winning the national cha championship last year, that was a huge step not only for this school but for the football program. And it carried over uh, into this year with uh, the winning streak that we had and the success that we've had this year. And I think everyone at the beginning of the season did expect us to make it this far. And um, I think that's a big challenge because you have such high expectations you have to get past those and you have to play to your best of your ability every week um, and if you don't there's a lot of criticism ahead so I think that um, to make it this far is a big thing for this program and a big thing for this school and I just know that the players don't want it to end here so I think that, that the mindset is that we need to keep pushing forward keep working to make sure that we can have another game and you know even this season needs to carry on to next season and the following season so I think a lot of that uh, to answer your question a lot of it has been from what coach London has done instilling uh, the mindset in the players for you know change is going to happen at this school uh, I think that the biggest difference that I've noticed was, um, you know, before these past years when we made it into the playoffs, we were like, wow, you know, we're in the playoffs, you know, all right, let's let's go, uh, let's let's do our best, you know. Uh, and I think that this year, you know, it's like, all right, we're back, you know, we got to continue to establish ourselves and prove that we belong here. And I think that's that's the biggest difference I noticed amongst uh, the coaches and the teammates. So uh, that was a that was a real good. Uh, it's been real good so far in practice and stuff like that. So. Having had the watch last year, how much fun is it for you to be on this ride and, and, and be part of, you know, all these other guys have been through it. How much fun is it for you to finally be part of this? Oh, it was, it's been a blast ever since day one, since I was able to put the pads back on, you know. Uh, it was even fun when I got to watch and to play in the national championship, you know, I was proud of my teammates, you know, that meant a lot to me. So, as I said, whatever, whenever I get close to my goal of getting back, getting the team back to the national championship, uh, you know, that, that makes it even more enjoyable for me.